countries and local governments are now promoting electric vehicles as a key part of their decarbonisation strategy. But are they right? Is battery power really more environmentally friendly than the internal combustion engine? Allow the Vox Network to explain. Comparing the environmental footprint of any car can be tricky because different companies have different suppliers, production processes, not to mention philosophies around supporting a low carbon economy. Which is why we've enlisted the International Council on Clean Transportation to help answer this one. The ICCT is a non-profit organisation that was responsible for exposing Dieselgate to the world. So it's safe to say that they know their onions when it comes to calculating emissions. A recent ICCT study discovered that a typical electric car using average European electricity is almost 30% cleaner over its life cycle compared to even the most efficient internal combustion engine vehicle. In markets with very low carbon electricity, such as Norway or France, electric vehicles are said to be more than 60% cleaner. To understand more, we need to explore what is known as a vehicle's life cycle assessment, which is split into four stages. First up is the supply chain, which includes any upstream production of materials and components required to make an electric vehicle. The biggest component of an EV is the battery, and a lot of the materials found in batteries require mining. One such material is lithium, which is mined using a process that leaches massive amounts of groundwater from the surrounding areas. Cobalt is another key ingredient found in the positive electrode of many lithium ion cells and is obtained as a byproduct from nickel and copper ores. As a result, it's estimated that the initial production of an electric car produces one and a half times more CO2 emissions than a vehicle with a classic internal combustion engine. In fact, battery production alone is responsible for 40% of an EV's entire carbon emissions. So it doesn't start well for the electric car. And in the second stage, the production, little ground is made up. That's because many aspects of core vehicle production, from body assembly to paint to testing, are so similar that very often electric, petrol and diesel powered cars all travel down the same factory line. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's worth noting that the energy required to build a car is far less than the energy used to run it over its life. So the third stage, known as the use phase, is where things finally change for the better. An internal combustion engine isn't half as efficient as an EV when it comes to converting energy, and it's continuing to rely on crude oil to be mined, extracted, and refined to even function. The EV, meanwhile, can be as clean as the grid that supplies its energy, emitting zero tailpipe emissions from here on in. So despite an electric vehicle's higher emissions during its first couple of stages of life, all of that emissions debt is paid off after just two years of driving. Use only renewable energy, and the ICCT reckons that time frame would drop to one and a half years. Recycling makes up the final stage of a vehicle's life cycle assessment, and this is where the electric vehicle scores another home run. As car batteries lose capacity over time, they have the potential to dodge the scrap heap and be repurposed as energy storage units as part of a so-called second life. These units have both domestic and industrial applications that can help reduce demand on national energy grids during peak hours, when electricity is often expensive and dirty. It's for this reason that EV components are designed from the start to be disassembled and recycled. And as recycling methods improve and battery chemistry becomes less carbon intensive, the life cycle advantage over the internal combustion engine will only improve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and let us know what you want to learn more about in the next episode of I Speak Electric.